All right. On to race number nine, 1,000 metre dash here. It's another class two contest, a good one. California Fortune, barrier nine for him. Saul Specials, a course and distance winner in October. Bravo Watchman, he's three from six course and distance. Styling City goes into class two for the first time. He's on a hat trick for John Moore and Douglas White. Mr. Lumiere up in class. Lean Perfection drops from the 1,400 down to the 1,000, but he's one from one over course and distance. And Fantastic Eight was runner up behind Styling City two starts back. This is how the speed looks and there's plenty of it, bro. Yep, yep, it's um, pretty basic this one, isn't it? It'll be fast uh, with horses like um, Mr. Lumiere, Moment of Power, who's probably the fastest horse we've got here in Hong Kong over the first hundred at least. Storm Signal, California Fortune, Styling City might even be burnt off here. Saul Special, good pace. This one will sit behind him, though. There, as you mentioned, there's more pressure than one of my shirt buttons in this race. And <laughs> Bravo Watchman, he's, he's under a, uh, a good hold as he comes down. He's not being let go at all here. Styling City, uh, he's just going to have to sit back and let this pace go because if he gets involved in a speed battle, that'll be the end of him. But in saying that, he has led on his last couple of starts. You see he's even keen in his work there, really wants to get on with it. Uh, does Styling City and Lean Perfection. He's been working really well recently. Another one that could uh, have the race run to suit, and he stretches out well once again here. So he'll be third up. He's not too far away either. All right, OK. Yeah, it's easy to tell who can relate with Paul's comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Moore is where we're going to start here. He's got two in the race, Storm Signal and Styling City. John Styling City, he loves the straight up to Class 2. How do you think he'll get on on Sunday? Well, he's, he trialled really well, um, and he's... Uh, and uh, his, uh, his work on um, Thursday morning was exceptional. He's a horse that thrives on work because he, he, he can um, get a little, on the, he doesn't look fat, but he can get a little fat on the fat side and, and, um, and he can go, you know, can have a blow, but um, that final workout on Thursday morning really topped him off. White was very, very happy. Um, with the work and said that uh, from gate six he's got the initial speed to get across and either be outside the leader or, or, or on the fence and we know the force rail will be out so um, I, uh, I don't see any problems from gate six and I think he, he's the one to beat for sure. When you look at his last win, two horses in class three, three-year-old with 133 pounds, not easy to do what he's been doing. No, because you look at the times, they were running like 56 and three quarters, and I think the time before he ran 56.4. So even though that weight difference, he can carry weight, and now he's dropping back, he's still going to run a pretty slick sort of time. And uh, I got a lot of time for him because um, people said, would you take him on or run him in the, uh, the Griffin Classic or something like that? But I, I said, well, as races come along in the program, why don't we take them in, in, in turn? Stick to the thousand. As we run out of program, then we can go on and put him over a little more ground and teach him to, uh, to, uh, to wait because now he's just a speed horse, you know? But um, Dougie and I will just have to work at it in the future and, and get him to, to relax and, and put him over more ground where, you know, I think he'll be very effective. So there's more upside there with him? Definitely. He's going to class one. Storm Signal, only one wants to be super consistent, isn't he? Definitely. Um, um, you know, he's, uh, he's turned the corner this season and, as you said, been super consistent. Drawn poorly uh, in gate one. Um, he'd, probably track, um, he'd probably be tracking uh, Styling City across. But his work will be cut out from that gate, in my opinion. So Styling City is the one of the two? Oh, definitely, by my mind. Going to class one. I like the confidence there. That's the styling city. But we've got some pretty decent horses taking on it. Some genuine straight line speed. Uh, Bravo Watch and Saul Special. And Baltic Whisper was disappointing here, but he has bounced back in a trial. Yeah, he has gone back to the trials and uh, performed well. But he's had two sort of average runs now, Baltic Whisper, which is a concern for me. Bravo Watchman out of this trio is the, the one I'm going to pick. Look at the horses he's alongside of here. Jumbo Luck and Wishful Thinker. Now, that wishful thinker form is a very strong form line, one of the strongest you'll get before you start getting to group company. Um, so that's uh, a pretty good measuring stick for me. Yeah, I've got him in there, and, and this is his go, 1,000 metres mm. straight. All right, Storm Signal, the other one of uh, John Moore's runners here, along with California Fortune, Fantastic Eight, and Alma Baby around the turn. I like Fantastic Eight coming back to the straight 1,000. Uh, he ran second over this course and distance behind... Um, Styling City uh, two starts ago it was a really good run from him. He's rate, rated 81. I think he's really going to get the race run to suit. I'm going to make him the long shot in the meeting at 17 to 1 at the moment because uh, he's going to have the lightest weight and he might get the race run to suit. And I thought this run was pretty good as well. 
California Fortune, such a good, honest <coughs> galloper, but I think he's more effective around the circle when he can get rolling and into rhythm as opposed to down the straight thousand. We've only seen him there once, so it's probably hard to be too uh, degrading on him down that course and distance, but I do think he's better suited around the turns. All right, Styling City favourite. Fantastic. It's place favourite, though, Paul. Yeah, he is. There's been a little bit of a place bet. There's not too much in the pools at this stage. That'll drift out, but I've got him on the top. Uh, fantastic eight to beat uh, Lean Perfection, uh, 12 to beat 10. Styling City in there for third and Bravo Watchman for fourth. So 12, 10, 6 and 4 and as we get more and more liquidity as we will do in this uh, particular race we'll see Fantastic 8 drift out I think. Yep, yeah I tend to think uh, this is a very competitive race. I'm going to go with Lean Perfection. I'm going to give him another chance. He's unbeaten course and distance. He was for me um, a surprise factor on the dirt first up and then I thought he was um, a bit average behind world record, but it was that yielding rainy sort of evening by the time we got to the last. So there's been two excuses, third time. He's a very talented horse. Starling City, Bravo, Watchman. I've got Baltic Whisper in for fourth, but I'm not convinced he's actually going well that well this prep. But 10, 6, 4, 3, I'll be sort of looking at the betting around the race. And at the moment, if you get $10 about Bravo, Watchman, that'd be what I'd step into. Mm. Yeah, we've all got the 4, 6, 10. Uh, in the numbers, but Styling City, I think, is a very exciting uh, sprinting recruit here in Hong Kong. One more race to go then, race number 10, plus all the best bets. That comes up next. <laughs>